Today we will be exploring this little hidden gem of an abandoned place that I came across. This little city was created alongside the Southern Pacific Railroad in the 1880s. The city was primarily a stop for coal and water, which were needed for trains at the time. At its peak, it had a population of right around 3,000 people. However, less than 50 people still live in this town today. I did look up the property records on this place, and there is very little information. It was built in 1901. Um, and it only shows that the house is there. It does not show these two outbuildings as ever being recorded that they were put on this property. The records show only a P.O. box for whoever the owner may, may be. Not sure what what happened or how it all got left behind but it was a very interesting find it was not the goal of today as i was heading somewhere else to film a different abandoned place but happened to come across this one on my way to get to the other one so you will see the other abandoned place exploration in the next video which will be Wednesday of this coming week as you can see everything is just thrown around here no graffiti or any real vandalism so it's pretty well preserved over all. I like when you can find these where they are not all graffitied up and completely destroyed. I would love to have found out more about what happened with this place, however, it was very difficult to find what little information I did on this property. All right, so let's go into this shed looking thing and see what's in here. I couldn't get in on the other side because there's just so much stuff scattered about everywhere. A couple of fridges in here, but there was nothing in either one of them, unlike in the other video where there was moldy food and milk left behind. These were cleaned out pretty well. Back out we go, as there's just really no room to walk around inside of these places. Always beautiful views. These places are always just absolutely out in the middle of Nowhere surrounded by mountains. Let's go into the house here and see what we can find in there. It's quite a mess as well, as you can see. I believe the bathroom was 
to the left hand side here because once I got inside I didn't see any any bathroom so I'm assuming that was the bathroom everything is just on the floor so it makes it more difficult to try to walk through I decided I would try to go through the front instead of the back here to see if that would make it easier to walk around whoever owned this place had lots of stuff that's for sure I'm guessing this is some type of day use rumor I'm not really sure I see some dressers in here so maybe at one time they use that as a as a bedroom possibly I'm not really sure this is obviously the living room we are in now see the sofa I see they had a wood burning stove as well I'm just really amazed all the stuff that was left behind that nobody has ever claimed this was definitely a bedroom in here closet looking pretty empty there not a very big place maybe this was 800 square feet I'm not sure but I couldn't get to the other side because the door is blocked right there so I'll have to go back out and around and just walk over all the stuff that's on the floor it was very peaceful out here I didn't see anybody no traffic ever went by the small town does have a a post office that was two streets over that is still open I believe they also had a little little hotel that's super historic and uh, I believe there was a tiny little school there as well but I'm not sure if it was still being used That must have been where the hot water heater used to be. But it is obviously no longer there. The old swamp cooler. Boy, it must have been miserable to live in this place in the summertime with no, no air conditioning and just a swamp cooler. Alright, let's go back inside here and hopefully I don't fall over trying to get over all of this stuff another fridge to your right but that was empty as well so definitely the kitchen area there's that door that was blocked I couldn't get through this was another bedroom back here so I'm not sure if if there was three bedrooms, a living room and a and a kitchen with the bathroom as you go outside. This door would just not open. I'm assuming that was just another closet. What a mess in here. Everything is just all over the place. Some clothes left behind right there. More clothes, another dresser. I'm going to try to open this door again. Just, just not happening, that's for sure.
Back out into the kitchen area we go. This house has definitely seen better, better days. I did look it up, however. It is, it is not for sale, so do not get your hopes up. I'm going to try to get in on this side of this building and see if there's better access, which there was not, obviously. Whoever lived here had an awful lot of, lot of stuff, as you can see. Anyhow, thanks for joining me today. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing, like, comment, share. I do appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.